Hi, I'm Canon Explorer of Light, Bruce Dorn, and I've created a series of short videos to demonstrate the potential of Canon's remarkable new Speedlight 600EXRT and its companion Speedlight transmitter, the ST-E3RT. Each video will use different on-location scenarios to highlight different features and capabilities of the new Speedlight and its radio-based wireless transmission. These videos will be fun and informative for any Canon user, but are especially aimed at serious enthusiasts and working pros who may be weighing the benefits of this new technology. Before we even consider its built-in radio transmission capabilities, let's take a closer look at the Speedlight 600EX RT and some of the major new features it brings to EOS photographers. The 600EX RT replaces the previous Speedlight 580EX2 as Canon's top of the line flash, and it's compatible with any EOS SLR for flash on camera shooting. It's about the same size as the 580EX2, but the head is slightly larger in all dimensions. This is to accommodate a broader range of flash coverage, from 20 millimeters through 200 millimeters on a full frame camera. The 20mm lens coverage can be a real asset to wide-angle shooters for flash on-camera work, and the expanded 200mm tele-zoom setting is especially useful for wireless flash when the speed light is used off-camera. The 600EXRT comes with a dedicated gel filter holder and two pre-cut amber gel filters, one for full tungsten correction and another light amber filter for mixed tungsten and daylight situations. The filter holder works with sensors at the bottom of the flash head to detect if either of the two Canon supplied filters are attached. If you're set for the flash white balance setting, most recent EOS cameras will automatically adjust white balance to correct for the filtered flash and ambient light. With the new Canon EOS 5D Mark III and EOS 1DX cameras, this also works with auto white balance. This new Speedlight features an entirely new control interface and LCD panel. Wireless access is afforded with the push of a single button. This wireless button toggles through every option, from standard flash on camera to radio controlled master or slave unit operation. There's no need to hold it down for two or three seconds before wireless flash is activated. It's also easy to change flash exposure modes with the clearly marked mode button. While the Canon Speedlight 600EXRT has a number of compelling new features, it's the wireless flash capabilities that make this Speedlight a truly significant new product, not just for Canon, but in the entire SLR industry. The Speedlight 600EXRT is completely compatible with Canon's existing optical line of sight wireless ETTL flash system. It can be used as a master unit or slave unit, along with any previous Canon Speedlight that has wireless capabilities. But remember, the Speedlight 600EXRT is the world's first Speedlight with integrated radio transmission capabilities for wireless flash, wireless TTL, and wireless automatic flash. Unlike the previous optical wireless technology, Canon's built-in radio system can fire flashes positioned anywhere within a 360-degree arc from the master unit. They can fire even in the brightest sunlight and do so at distances of up to 30 meters from the triggering master unit. That's about 100 feet. No line of sight is involved, so full TTL or manual flash is simple, even with speed lights hidden behind subjects or beyond walls. Simply put, wireless flash has taken a quantum leap forward. The radio system requires a Speedlight 600EXRT or the new Speedlight Transmitter ST-E3RT on camera and at least one 600EXRT off camera. And that's just the beginning. Up to 15 600EXRT Speedlights can be used in a single radio controlled wireless flash setup. With cameras introduced before the EOS 5D Mark III and EOS 1DX, wireless ETTL can function in the same manner it does with the previous optical system. All can fire at the same even power, controlled by the ETTL flash metering in the camera. Ratio control can be applied to an A and B group of flashes, or an A, B, and C group. With the newest models, like the EOS 5D Mark III, a totally new flash mode opens up incredible new possibilities. It's called Group Mode, and it's activated by pressing the Mode button until G, R appears in the upper left corner of the flash's LCD screen. 
Once activated, up to five groups of Speedlight 600 EXRTs can be used off camera and each group can be controlled completely independently. For instance, you could assign your A group to work in ETTL automatic flash exposure mode at normal power. B group could also be set to ETTL, but set to, let's say, minus 1.3 stops. One or more flashes in the C group could be set for manual flash exposure, perhaps at something like 1 8th power. Maybe that's your hair light or accent light. You could also add a D group to be set to work in non-TTTL auto mode using their own external flash sensors to control exposure. What's really cool is that it's all controlled from the master unit at the camera position. You can even tell when each and every speed light in each group is fully recycled because a lightning bolt appears on the master's LCD panel. You can also activate an audible beep tone on the master unit, which can chirp when all the off-camera speed lights have fully recycled. I like that one. The new companion Canon Speedlight Transmitter STE3RT is an optional triggering device for the new radio controlled wireless flash system. I love this. Why waste a Speedlight in the hot shoe when you can use one of these? It's super compact and it runs off of two AA size batteries. Yes! Unlike the previous Speedlight Transmitter, this one has no limitations in terms of how many groups of flashes it will fire. It has the same LCD panel and control as a Master 600EX-RT Speedlight does. It works over the same roughly 100 foot range and even the advanced group mode is possible using your Speedlight Transmitter as the triggering device. We'll be pushing the limits of this new flash system in our series of videos and show you how its different features can be applied in some challenging real life situations. Stay tuned, you're gonna have some fun watching this set.